Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. One of the questions I get asked the most with regards to ransomware is admin versus standard user. What difference does it make? Because there's a very common security advice that people get, which is use a standard account instead of an administrator account. That way your computer is going to be more secure. But today we're going to find out if it's going to be secure enough. This is Leo and you're watching the PC Security Channel. This video is sponsored by Trend Micro. So to start off, we have an admin account, and we also have some of the most infamous ransomware from the last five years. What we're gonna do is run a couple of samples just to demonstrate what happens on an admin account when you run ransomware. So to start off, keeping things nice and simple, we're just gonna pick Discord Nitro ransomware because it's gonna clean up our files very quickly, I suspect. The moment we run it, we see some stuff on the desktop. Things are getting encrypted in the background. If we go into our documents, our Shakespeare's plays are quickly being translated to Chinese, as you'll see once we open the encrypted characters. That's just a joke. The data is being encrypted, meaning it's no longer accessible or resembling anything you can read. And this is what stumps a lot of businesses. A lot of their crucial data gets encrypted, customer data gets encrypted. And these days, the data is not just encrypted. With many ransomware attacks, the data is also actively stolen. So you've got the nightmare of systems not operating, losing all of the information that's crucial to keeping your business running, but at the same time, losing access to confidential data, potentially violating agreements with your customers, and all sorts of hell. And what happens when a ransomware executes on an administrator account is it has full access to every folder on the system. Not just every folder on the system, but also network location. So a lot of ransomware will go in here and start encrypting stuff on other computers as well. So you can imagine if it's a business, you've got hundreds of network systems, every system gets encrypted. Now we're reaching the end game of this ransomware and that means all of our data is encrypted and we have this ransom note on the desktop. Pretty nasty. But this is no surprise. This is an admin account, no security. Of course, the ransomware wins. Now we're going to try the same experiment on a different system, which is a standard user. As you can see now, we've switched over to a standard user account, and this is signified by the light UI, because everybody knows dark mode is for the pros. But if that doesn't make sense to you, you can see that it's set as standard. And now we're going to do some of the same experiments. So we're going to go over to our little folder of Doom, and now we're going to run the same ransomware on a standard account. So we'll pick out Discord Nitro, and we're just gonna run it. Now it's going to run, but without administrator privileges. If we check our documents, we've got the same documents here. And guess what? The exact same thing happening all over again. But this is a standard user, you say. All the security pros told me that this would save me. Well, we'll talk about that in a little bit in terms of the differences between a standard and an admin account. But when it comes to ransomware, unfortunately, there's not gonna be a huge difference that we're going to see in terms of running this on a standard versus an admin account. But there are differences and I will point those out. So. First, we're gonna let it finish, then we're going to examine some of the differences. Unfortunately for the plays of Shakespeare though, it's continuing to be a tragedy, just as intended. And now we have reached the stage where the desktop goes gray and we have the ransom note. Pretty much the same. Now if we go back though, here's the crucial difference. So if we go into this PC, we go into the C drive, we go into users, we try to open Leo. Well, you can't access this because this is an admin account and you can't access the data of an admin account from a standard account. Now, if we log out of this system, quickly sign out and sign back in as the admin. What we're going to find is that our documents here are totally safe. There you go. This is possible because of access control. 
with an admin account, you can override a lot of access controls and you can pretty much access anything on the system. That's what's intended for an admin. But as a standard user, you're always locked into the data that you have access to that's given to you or that you have created on your system or your account. And that's all that's accessible to you. That's all that's accessible to the ransomware. Now, there are some problems with this, though. And to demonstrate that, we're going to go back to the standard account. We've established that a standard account might be able to limit the damage caused by ransomware by restricting its spread and its access to other parts of the system and files belonging to other users. But here's an issue. You can still access a lot of Windows. So I guess you could still break services. You could still cause damage to the system if that was your intention. But that's not what most ransomware is for. It's for stealing data and encrypting data and holding it for ransom. What good is nuking a system? You can just reinstall Windows. But now we're going to take a look at Exhibit B, which is going to be a slightly different ransomware, which is going to be Black Claw. And this is more representative of a typical ransomware that would actually be part of a targeted attack. Remember, the Discord ransomware moves mostly a troll. This is a real threat. And as soon as we run it, it's going to do the same thing with one slight difference. Once again, our data is encrypted. No surprises there. But now we go into our network locations, we've got recover your files and HTML application, and we've got shared folders. If we go in here, as you can see, all of the data in here is also encrypted. And this I think is the Achilles heel of the standard user defense. So if you're using network sharing or some sort of company-wide access where a standard user is still going to be able to exchange data, which is usually the case, then ransomware simply running on a standard user account, no exploits involved, is still going to be able to encrypt them. It's simply access control. But the security pros are not wrong. Using a standard account prevents the use of a lot of features. For example, VSS admin. So you know how ransomware can go and delete your shadow copies? Every ransomware does that these days. Can't do that if you're running on a standard account. It likely can't delete your backups. And also, if you've siloed your systems well enough, you can give a standard user read-only access to certain parts of an organization or a computer. So hopefully that helps clarify the situation with a standard account. As mentioned, it's not a foolproof defense, but it's better than nothing. And that is why a lot of security pros do recommend setting up a standard account. Although, like I said, it only works as well as every other system around it. If you have standard users and then you just give them access to a shared location that has all of your server data, it's GG. And that's the problem I have with a lot of generic security advice. If it's just delivered as a soundbite or an elevator pitch, it doesn't really make sense and it leads to a lot of weaknesses that are going to be very easy for an attacker to exploit. It's more important to think through your strategy rather than follow advice X or Y independently. Oh, somebody told me I should use a standard user account. Let's do that. But then we run into problems. So let's just give shared access to everyone and make the system more vulnerable than it would have been if we just used an admin account instead. So Again, it's important to keep the entire context of your strategy in mind when you're making these decisions. But thank you so much for watching. Now to our sponsors. In this video, we'll be looking at Trend Micro's premium security suite, which comes with many features, including their maximum security for home computers. It's a pretty comprehensive solution to protect you from various cyber threats, including things like ransomware, of course. And as it launches, you can see that it allows you to protect certain folders from ransomware. So you can set up your own access control outside of Windows. For now, we're just going to use default protection. But we're going to test it. We're going to run the same threats from our folder of infamous ransomware while Trend Micro is protecting the system. As usual, we're going to navigate to our folder of infamous ransomware. First, we're going to try Discord Nitro. Just going to drag and drop here. And as you can see, the file access was denied. And we've got a message from Trend Micro saying ransomware file removed and our system is protected. We're going to try the same thing with Black Claw. And guess what? This file is really well obfuscated, so we were able to transfer it to the system. But let's see if it can execute and encrypt our data. 
Now it should be running, but within a few seconds, Trend Micro kicks in and it says ransomware software blocked. And this seems to be some sort of behavioral protection. So it actually noticed the encryption behavior taking place and blocked that instead of just blocking it with its signature. So that's actually really cool to see. The process was terminated. And if we go into our documents, you can see all of our plays are still safe. If you're looking for comprehensive protection against ransomware, consider checking out Trend Micro Maximum Security. Link will be in the description. Also, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Please like and share it if you did. I wanna do a whole series on cybersecurity concepts. There's a lot more to come, so don't forget to subscribe. If you're a business and you'd like to do a cybersecurity audit to see how you would fare in the event of a ransomware attack or something similar, feel free to reach out to us at tpsc.tech. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.